Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have YouTube. YouTube has a support. On your channel, you go into your studio, and when you get into your studio, you simply click right here, and you can talk with a live person, live. Now, there's a live person. We've been going back and forth because they took my October surprise video because they said it was misinformation. So let's give you the same, <clears throat> excuse me, information that was in that video because I just went to YouTube. Pay attention. This is the Washington Journal reporting this. This is Bing, okay? The U.S. has confirmed that Egypt warned Tel Aviv, Israel, of a possible imminent attack. Surprise, surprise, surprise! Anyway, according to the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, who says that he is not quite sure, not quite sure, <clears throat> not quite sure how Israel and the U.S. missed it. And the U.S.? What's the U.S. got anything to do with that? We know that Egypt had warned the Israelis three days prior to an event like this could happen, says Republican McCall of Texas. Wednesday, following a closed-door intelligence briefing, according to the Wall Street Journal, well, isn't that special? They said when I said it was misinformation. Mm-hmm. Then Israeli military ranked 18th out of 145 nations on the list of the world's most powerful armed forces, according to 2023 Global Firepower Index. Ladies and gentlemen, where does Israeli military rank among the world's most powerful nations? Again, this is an article. I didn't say that. They said they were the number one military. So how come they left their checkpoint unguarded? Israel never leaves its checkpoint unguarded. Pay attention. Wednesday, June 24, 2023, in a statement, Israeli police said a gunman approached the checkpoint between Jerusalem and Ramallah on foot at around 2.40 a.m. and opened fire. The officers and civilian guards fired back. So where was the officers and civilian guards this time? Uh-huh. The public was reporting that the checkpoint was unmanned, that they just rolled right on in, and they rolled right on out. Go back and take a look at the video. They were showing videos of them coming in and shooting civilians. Interesting, huh? Do we know if they were really Hamas? I don't know, because we don't know who Hamas is and who Hamas isn't. I mean, it's just Hamas. You know what I'm saying? So, going back and forth with YouTube, I responded on my tablet. And when I responded on my tablet to YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, they gave me 100 characters to appeal. But when I appealed on the second channel, hold on, that's TTOPP, that's Reader's Right. When I appealed on the second channel, that's this one right here, this is Eon, E E O E. When I appealed on this channel, it gave me one uh, 800 characters to appeal. Ain't that some 100 characters? 800 characters. I was on my tablet on this one. I was on the computer on this one. The only reason why I did it on a computer on this one because I figured there was a difference. It doesn't like hooked on a feeling. Hooked on a feeling. Watch. Uh, it doesn't like hooked on a feeling. Even though I played all the other songs, I played the song by Boston. And it says, no, more than a feeling. So it doesn't like me having feelings, y'all. It says, no, you ain't got no right to no feelings. So get back to this. We ain't going to keep y'all going because she's, she's got me on hold since 58 after. More than five minutes now. She normally only asks for five minutes. Her, her name is Ashley. Ashley, she's been all right. She's been having me repeat myself a couple of times, which y'all know I hate. But she says, I don't give a about what you hate. We're going to make you repeat yourself until we feel like we didn't hurt enough. So I'm just doing it because what's wrong is right and right is wrong as white as day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, not going to keep y'all. I just wanted to, you know, let y'all know how things work. They took the video down because... Nobody else was talking about false flags. Now, what is a false flag? You know, I actually put that information in here. A false flag is when a military 
or political division sits up there and claims something to be something or an attack to be from something or someone when it was not. Israel said, surprise, surprise, surprise. We were surprised, completely taken off guard. And it happened during October, i.e. a surprise attack or an October surprise. They said that I was providing misinformation. They even suggested that what I did was get some old footage. Now, <laughs> they're accusing me of using old footage. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, when it was Israel who's been accused of actually using old footage. Oh, no, no. I, you know what? I got, I, it's right here. Sorry. This is the definition of a false flag. So I'm going to take this definition and I'm going to, because, you know, they said that it was me. They said that I was reporting false information. I said it was a false flag. I said it was, uh, what's the word for it? October, surprise, surprise, surprise. And they said that was misinformation. And they said, we're giving you no strike. We're just taking you down. I'm like, no, you can't take my, now. They said, we're going to do whatever we want, mother. And I said, look, here. I ain't going to be too many more of your mothers, okay? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I need to say here is we're going to get rid of this, this part right here about the uh, flag flown because we need this definition. Let, Ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, see what she's saying now because she's saying something, okay, right here. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> Don't be thanking me because you know I ain't happy. I'm going to let you all see what she's saying and I'm going to let you all get back to you all day. But I just wanted to let you know that I don't sit up here and just give misleading information to people. That's not how I work. And when somebody accuses me of something like that, it's stupid in my opinion. Just like I told you about Bankman Freed. They're saying that he embezzled, that he took over $8 billion. But then they recovered, recovered, pay attention, recovered $10.3 billion. So why is he still on trial? They stole his company. So why is he still on trial? Is it because he's unwilling to go with the okie doke? The misinformation, disinformation? I don't know. I can't tell you. I know that he's got some very dumb lawyers. We'll try to check this one. However, for us to make sure that there is no mistake, can we have a screenshot, please? I don't already told this hoe. Watch this, because I don't already didn't told her. Give me one second so I can. I am so glad that you still are not listening. Period. I told you that was on my tablet that I appealed that decision. Comma. And your system doesn't allow us to see our comments on an appeal, whether we use a tablet or a computer. Comma. So no, you can't have a screenshot. Comma. Because you guys have a copy. I don't. Period. Better yet, why don't you send me a screenshot of my appeal? And that way we can be on the same page. Period. As you see, comma, I'm not a man of a few words. Comma, no one will ever accuse me of such. Exclamation mark. So 100 characters, comma, take a look at the appeal. It is 100 characters. That's how you will troubleshoot it. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I deal with these intelligent people all the time. People like this person. Ooh, now, I, I got one more thing I want to tell y'all. I have this uh, rice blend. 
I forgot where I got it from, but there are a couple of food stores. I think I may have got this at Trader Joe's, but it's a mixed rice blend, wild rice blend. I don't use it that often. I'm not too much of a fan of it, but I, I put it, I said, I'm going to cook me some wild rice blend today. And I added some shrimp, you know, cocktail shrimp, small ones. Then I added some kidney beans. That's right, beans and rice. I love me some beans and rice. And then I added me some smoked salmon. Man, I've already eaten more than enough eyes full. I'm about to go to sleep because I got the itis because that junk tastes pretty good. Oh, and by the way, I bought these pots that don't have that BPH and all those other chemicals in it that are stickless. And I bought these pots. And you want to know something? I want to tell you. After I cured them, because you got to cool them, okay? You can't just put them on a stove and start cooking. You got to put them on a stove and you got to see that most people want to put them in the oven. No. I put them on a stove and I bring them to piping hot and I cooled them. Well, let me tell you, none of it sticks. It is perfect. I did some eggs the other day. Perfect. Uh, when I say perfect, I do mean perfect. Uh, she apologizes that I feel this way. Now, you see that statement? I do apologize if you feel that way. Hold on. Let's go up here. Where is it at? Uh, no, not that one. Nope, not that one. They told me I can submit my appeal, submit my appeal on video. Give me a second. Let me get that other apology. Because she, she said it before. I apologize that you feel that way. Uh, let's see. Where is it? I apologize if you feel that way. Exact same words, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you know the apology ain't, 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 ain't. Anyway, I do not have the visibility on the appeal. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, well. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. One second. Then I guess we'll have to move on from here and address the issue of my given a proper appeal. I guess we will have to move on Stop listening. All right. I just wanted to let you guys see um, YouTube and uh, stupidity. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would go and watch promissory notes and bills of exchange. I really do believe that one will provide some of y'all with a whole lot of information. Okay. This one and the Defrauded Homeowners of America, you'll gain, you'll glean, you'll gain some information from that one as well. All right, y'all take care. We will talk. All right. Take care, everyone.